What is going on guys? Welcome back to Car Guy Gaming. Today we are in the city of Granite Glades again and as you can see there's a lot of traffic issues right here. It's backing up here, it's backing up here and the reason for that is because of all this industrial right over here. So, uh, what? Something just leveled up, but yeah, it was the lower forest side park. Okay, so what we're gonna do is the reason for all this traffic is because of this industrial area right here. And I do actually want to replace this with residential as well. So, we're actually going to get rid of all of that. And let's see, does the power bridge over to the rest of the city? Yes, yes it does. Okay, so... Yeah, we're- I'm just going to get rid of this power line, because incinerators actually make their own power, so we don't actually need that. So, all of that will disappear over time, and now, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to expand- This episode, I want to focus on expanding the, uh, lumber company, the forest side lumber company. So, what I want to do is I want to actually get- some more here Let, let's get some more stuff in here so what i want i want to minimize my connections so i'm going to minimize my connections on this highway road right here so huh Let, let's see what we what i want to do let me think about how i want to plan this out and okay so what i'm actually going to do is we're going to come out here by 42 and then we're gonna bring it all the way over there to that side. Now, yeah, that most definitely um, screws that up and makes it look really bad, but nothing a little bit of smoothing, smoothening can't fix. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm basically just gonna create a sort of grid here. So l let's actually uh, hold on for a minute. Okay, so it's about that big. So what do I want to do? I think because of the size of the paper plants, I'm going to put all the paper plants over here. And I'm going to put all the uh, plain timber plants over there. So I'm going to... Let, let's let's figure this out. How, how big do I actually need this to be? Alright, yeah. So every two um, pulp mills, I will add a road splitting splitting it off so we'll go like that and then we will build the rest of this up oh okay so that's a bit of an issue there so we'll figure out what to do with that later down the road but uh so let's see how big are these so that is nine so we need to come out by i believe 19 right there 18 and kablam and then we will bring this across to there. And then let's just add in some more pulp mills. I just realized how short on money we were. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, so let us bring the speed up so that we can get some of our money back. So I'm going to let this run and get some more money. And I will be right back. Hold up. Alright, so we're back up to $200,000, and so, with that said, let us get in the final pulp mill that we couldn't afford last time. There we go. So there is our final pulp mill, and, uh, well, our final pulp mill for that section now, I think what I want to do is I want to fill up this area with engineered wood plants, and this area with storage, I think. Although, I might actually add a bunch of storage to this area. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so, on this frontage road, let's see what we can do. Can we- yes, I can, it can perfectly fit two large log yards like that. These are the large log yards. Okay, so do I get those or do I get these? I think I'm gonna get these. So the, uh... What, what are they called? Sawdust? No, wood chip storage. So let's get some wood chip storage in along here. Here, let's get these in here and then I'll use move it to um, center them. Actually, I don't think I need to. I think that looks good. So let us now get this water line in. 
and there we go. That is now our storage area all set up. So we are going to see a bunch of traffic here as they try to fill up this storage area. Now, let's do some stuff over here. I think I'm going to leave this the way it is. Um, now, we have to start worrying about where we're going to put these guys, the engineered wood plants. So, let me think about how I'm going to do this. Like, how big are each of these? So, there are nine, so that means we need ten. So, there are nine by, um, by what? Nine by... Alright, so nine that way, nine that way. So if I actually come down here by the middle, let's see, can I fit one of these here? Yes, one of these here. Yeah, I can fit one there, but it's not going to be completely in line, but that's fine actually because of the way we're going to do this. So there, we're going to put this here, we're going to put this here, we're going to put this here. We're going to put this here, and we're going to put this here. So these guys are now complaining for water, so I'm actually going to pause the game really quick. We'll get these here, and then, look here, let's do this. So, so that's 12, but this right here is 9. So 9, 9, and then I'm going to come out here by 9. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, the traffic is now pretty much gone for this storage area. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna place down some more of these engineered wood plants, and then I'm gonna add some more storages along here. So that's too small. How about a large log yard? It pretty much fits. I'll, I, can, I can probably use Anarchy to get this in. To get these in here. Yeah, that looks fine. That's fine. It's right on the edge of the road. It's it's fine. Okay, so these guys are now trying to fill up these areas. And I actually had to turn despawning off bec because it got so bad. Or turn it on, rather. So I'm actually going to turn it back on right here. And so as they fill these up, it should increase our profit yet again. I'm, I'm thinking of adding another train station around, like, here, but I don't know. I mean, I think I might have to get rid of this one and add a roundabout here simply because there's so much traffic now on here, although I think that's just from them filling up these storages. I think after they're filled up, like, how, how much are these? Yeah, they gotta be filled up, like, all the way in order for them to stop filling them up, so... I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I think we'll honestly be fine. And as you can see, we are making a ton of money now, and this traffic is mostly gone. It's mostly just around here, which is fine. I don't really mind that. Ni none of the train stations are getting overworked. So I don't think that's really an issue. However, what is an issue is we need to get in the unique factory for the forced industry. So I'm going to try and find that. Yeah, here, the furniture factory. So do I just plop it down here? I think that's not such a good idea. Actually, though, I think just plopping it down here might be... Well, let, let's look at the slopes. Let's look at the terrain. Actually, the terrain there is pretty level. So there we go. I think we're going to place that down right there, and because we're producing so much stuff, going to instantly up it to 100% production rate, and boom. So there we go. It is going to make us more money. So yeah, we are seeing a lot of traffic, so I think that's simply because of the way I've done things here. So if I get rid of that sign, and I get rid of this sign here, then it should clear up a lot of our traffic issues. Okay, so the traffic around here has gotten to the point where I think it would be justified to add in a roundabout. So, I'm gonna make it a smaller one. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Okay, so this fence right here, 
L l let's see if I can actually... Here, if I can get rid of this fan. I can! Alright, so that roundabout is moving. It is moving traffic quite well. So, I think I'm just gonna simply wait. And this should clear itself up in due time. However, for now, I think this industry looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to create another train station over here. But this is the problem, is we are dealing with a cliff. Now I know it's unrealistic, and I know, I know Phil from City Planner Plays City Builders. I, I know he is subscribed, I don't know if he watches every video. If you do, Phil, let me know down in the comments. I know he is going to hate me. He is going to absolutely hate me for, for doing this. But what I'm doing essentially is... Well, I'm leveling all that land off, which would in, in real life be obscenely expensive and would never, ever be done. So... In reality, I just do want to point this out, in reality, an industry like this would not have the money to do something that I just did, um, but because of the city skylines, we have the money to do whatever the heck we want, and terraforming is in fact free, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do my signature 15, come over, and then down by 15. And then, here, we'll come over here, and we'll do this. Ooh, this is, this is tough. Okay, so here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come over to here, and go like that. Now I'm actually going to raise this up to the height of that. Now if I come over here like this, do slope objects, there we go. Although, no, that is still absurdly steep, okay. Um, and then this one, we're actually going to have to convert to that as well, so. Let's go like this, control H, and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to go all the way back as far as I can to there and then I'm gonna slope oh are you kidding me I wasn't holding shift hold on now it looks reasonable okay so let's get the water lines for this train this train terminal up and running that was wrong boom like that come over to here like that, and is the power connected? No. So, let's bring this over here like this. And like that, boom. And there we go, there is an additional train station right there. So that should take some of the load off of this one. So, let's fast forward. Whoa, 40,000? Where's all that coming from? This is making us 30 cents. Where's all that revenue coming from? It can't be from the forest industry. What? Are you serious? 57,000? Okay. I, I have said before that forestry is the least profitable industry in city skylines, but dang. I mean, this is really, really getting a lot. This is making us a ton of money. I'm going to redirect those guys all the way over to there, so that way they don't load right onto here where all the storages are. I think it may have been a bad idea to get so many storages. Here, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. I'm going to set all these to fill. That way they get filled, and then we can pretty much just leave them alone from there. There we go. As you can see, we now have a lot less traffic going on over here. Uh, we do have some traffic coming over here, but I think that is because these guys are trying to turn on the wrong lane, or turn into the wrong lane. So I want them to turn onto the inside lane. Also, this area here is a giant cul-de-sac. 
and so is our forestry company. They they are both giant cul-de-sacs. Our whole city at this point, this whole thing is a giant cul-de-sac, and this whole thing is a giant cul-de-sac. We have cul-de-sacs galore, so I think that is what we are going to be fixing next episode. We are going to be fixing the fact that this is a huge cul-de-sac, and this is a huge cul-de-sac. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to convert this entire highway running up and down here to just an arterial road, and I think I showed you guys in the first episode, if you even watched that far, that I am going to be using this road here for my arterial roads. It looks really good, and also, m did I even mention what the bridges look like for this road? Oh my god, it is so beautiful. So, that is pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, we're now making a ton of money. Uh, the Foresight Lumber Company has taken up a very significant amount of jobs. However, we still do have 3% unemployment, which is not good. So, I think in the next episode, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to... Next episode, I'm going to try to solve the problem of the cul-de-sacs. I'm going to solve the problem of our entire city being a giant cul-de-sac and this forestry industry being a giant cul-de-sac because as you can see it creates traffic, traffic, and tra more traffic. So in the right now it may not seem like that bad like right now we have 79 percent traffic flow but in the future that is going to cause huge 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 issues so that's what we're going to do next episode is i'm going to try to figure out a good way of making our two areas not cul-de-sacs and we might even get some public transport going maybe a commuter rail maybe a bus line i don't know but that's what we're going to be doing next episode, guys. For now, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to smash the like button down below. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And without further ado, I will see you dudes next time.